Hey family, a uh, video day in May. Today is the 28th of May. Today, not, yes, what, what was that? It was Friday, I'm saying it was Thursday, I'm saying it was the 28th, I'm, whatever, I don't know. <laughs> I can't call it, and I know y'all be like, on every motherfucking video, she always want to know what day it is. Well, some days it just be like that. How about that one? Some days it's just like that. Okay? So, anyway. I'm parked over here on the side of the road. I'm over here at the Wiener Schnitzel. That's IHOP, Taco Bell, Wiener Schnitzel behind me, and Subway, and Chevron. It's right there. And I came to get me an ice cream cone. That was dipped in chocolate, and I didn't had enough. And I, you know, I've been sitting up here, and I've been still trying to, you know, eat on it to keep it from melting up. And I'm just sick of it, actually. And uh, I hate to throw it out the window, but I hate to leave it in my car. So I'm just in a catch twenty two. So I've been trying to eat it and eat it and eat it until it's gone. But I didn't really had enough. Um. Anyway, actually, this is in kind of in response to video I did yesterday and um Kenny just came through okay um wow I was sitting up here and I was just watching the video on my phone as I'm sitting up here as I was eating my ice cream and everything and I was like you know what hold on listen it is the video day in May vlog number 28 today is Thursday, May the 28th, 2016, and I have come on to show you guys my $1 outfit of the day from... And let me say this, let me say this, oh my God, I got about, I think I got like three or four dresses, okay, I got that, that stripe one, I got a black one, I got that pink vintage, I got the jumper... A white top, this top, and I think, and some, a few pair of pants. All, all that shit, and then plus I got this necklace that I love. Is this not the cutest thing? And it's like, this is the actual size that it is. This is the size of it. I didn't have to take any links out of it or nothing. This is just, oh my God, I love it. I love that. That's working for me. So, anyway, um, so, and I ended up paying like $40 for all of that, and I had a whole bunch of shit. Go figure. Um, but anyway, uh, I was sitting up here and I was watching that video. Now, let me dissect some of this for a minute, okay? Let me dissect some of, that, some of this for a minute. A message has been received. First of all, I've been taking up time with someone else. I haven't been taking up no time with Kenny. Okay? And me and Kenny haven't had no relations in over like maybe a month. Maybe three weeks. Between three and four. Three and five. Something like that. Weeks. But in the interim, I've been seeing somebody else. This is like the first time like I'm really, really, you know... Trying to give a relationship like a go, okay. Though I've been clear with my intentions with the man in my life, and I've been clear with my intentions with Kenny for the longest time. Me and Kenny didn't had this conversation, so this truly is not some new shit. So this is not like. Okay, she just dogging out my boy. No, not not another kind. I don't I, I I don't operate that way, you know. And and I believe that shit comes back on you. And so, with that said, right there, I treat people, you know, very well. You know, some some that aren't even deserving. Okay, so anyway, so but I've been taking up time with. You know, someone else. We've been going out. We've been going out to dinner. We've been hanging out. All kind of stuff. And, you know, um, so I've been going over to the, to the, 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 you know, my new man's house. Okay. 
And so when Kenny comes through my place, it's a hit and miss on whether or not I'm here or whether or not I'm not here or whether I'm, you know, my car is here, but he picked me up and I'm gone, but my car is here. So Kenny is like, okay, were you here? You know, whatever. So now it's getting to the place now that he's just showing up at random times of the day. So yesterday was a random time. Now here me and my friend, I was going to meet with him on his lunch, okay? And so you hear, you clearly hear my dogs barking. Anthony's getting ready for work. The kids are at school. And it's just me and Anthony at the house. You know, so the dogs are barking, and I'm like, okay, well, you know, I don't know what's going on up there, but I know Anthony's up there, so, you know, whatever it is, Anthony can handle it. But for Sebastian to be barking, that clearly lets you know that that was somebody at my door that did not have a key, and that was knocking or ringing the doorbell, but back there in the back, sometimes you can't hear it, okay? So... Okay, so apparently he was knocking on the door, Sebastian's barking... The door, whether or not the door was unlocked or locked or however, Anthony let him in, whatever. He just comes right on to my room, and that's what you guys seen. I wasn't expecting him to come in, nor was... And I'm like, book? What book? What you talking about? I'm just now seeing you. But, remember I did a video back in the day called How to Fuck a Nigga's Head Up? And I was talking about how, you know, you roll to a nigga's house and, you know what I'm saying, you come back and come pick up some shit later on. Oh, I forgot my this, that, my earrings, this, this, this. You forgot some shit. Well, matter of fact, there go Kenny right there. Is this motherfucker following me? I bullshit you not. I don't want to flash his car because the near form, like, you know, putting it out there. But he's right here at Taco Bell in the driveway. What the hell? What are the odds of this? What the shit does this mean? And what's crazy is, you know, I'm trying to be very nice. I'm trying to be cordial. I'm, I don't want a rift. I don't want no tift. I don't want no, I don't want no, no extra drama or no, I don't want none of that kind of shit. I just want to move on with my life. That's it. No extra twist, no nothing. He's making this very difficult, as you can see. And all this popping up at my house is, like, real crazy. You see, okay, now he was just at my house. That's why I bumped out. That's why I left. He was at my house talking about he needed to get some tools out of the garage to do something to his car, working on his car. Isaiah football team were having a car wash. So I took the car and had the car wash. So that's the pictures that you guys seen on Instagram and stuff, y'all. Wait a minute, did y'all see one of the coaches though? The message has been did do he not look like the Rock, a Rock, the Rock's cousins, one of his brothers, one of the WWE cats? What? Oh my God, he is. Oh, it's one of the coaches, and he was getting my shit together, was he not? Did you see that shit? Oh my God, he was rubbing on my motherfucking ride. I was like, oh shit, hey coach, hey. <laughs> anyway, jokes, kidding. But, uh, but yeah, it's like, nigga, are you following me or what is this? You know, because, okay, you said you need to work on your car. You needed some tools at the garage or whatever. Mind you now. You done picked off half my shit anyway. Okay? Because I know my tools. Okay? And uh, I know my number 12 has been missing for a minute. And I'm like, you know, because he always be talking about, I'm going to hit a nigga with a number 12. Okay? And then, so the other day, I was like, you know, in the garage. And I was like, you know, let me go through and, you know, check out these ratchets and shit. Number 12. Gone. But, uh, uh, but yeah, you know, he just, he just, he, he, this nigga's like, uh, Jafar. Like, he's just creeping around, like, I'm just trying to creep around and see what you're doing. I'm trying to catch you in some shit, and I'm trying to do, and I told him this morning, I was like, you know, um, 
what are your plans for the holiday? You know, for you know, it's Memorial Day weekend and everything. And you know, what are your plans and stuff? I'm trying to figure out what his plans are. So then, therefore, I could plan mine accordingly. Of course, I plan on cooking for my children, making a cake and all that other kind of stuff. Well, it's not like nigga, you're not totally invited, but you know, I mean. Can I just, you know what I'm saying? Can I have some room to express? I mean, just come on. He's not getting it, man. And this morning, I really tried to sit up and have a conversation with him. Like, you know, he's like, okay, well, what am I, what am, you know, what, you just blindsided a nigga and all this. And, you know, how you just going to come out the way with all this right here? What? What? I don't do business that way. No, you wasn't trying to accept it from the start. But now that you see that, you know what? She's really serious. She done, she done clamped down on the pussy. She don't want me to even taste that motherfucker. So, I ain't got no action. She ain't giving me no rhythm. Energy gone. It's nothing. It's, it's nothing. I am there for you if you need me. I wish you nothing but the best. No hard feelings, no ill will, no none of that shit. Call me and holler at me if you need me. You need AAA, no problem. Okay? But I have chosen to simply move on with my life. That's it. And that's all. Video day in May. Vlog number 28. Today is Saturday, the 28th of May. I'm sitting over here on the side of the road while somebody is... You know, basically following my shit. I'm really wondering, does this nigga got a low jack on my shit that I don't know? Because what are the odds of him coming straight to this Taco Bell? And I'm sitting over like, man. I ain't got my watch on, so he didn't put nothing on that motherfucker. Maybe he got some shit on the back of my car or put an app in my phone or some shit. You know what I'm saying? And be trying to figure out where the fuck I'm at. Because I be MIA, I be gone. Okay, baby got his own motherfucking spot. Yeah, it ain't got no problem. I, I got the black card. I got open reign. Come and go as I shall please. There's no problem with that. So, you know, but when it comes down to my children, we got to tread lightly on that. You know what I mean? I'm not too apt to just bringing, you know, men and shit around my daughter and or even around my boys. You know what I mean? I'm just not, I'm not, you know, don't ask me for too much too fast. You know, when it comes down to mine, that's on my time. You can't, you can't, you can't rush me that way. So, you know, but it is the holiday weekend or whatever. You know, the pool is clean. And, and, and last night, matter of fact, Isaiah's friends, three of his friends stayed the night last night. And, um, um, and my daughter's. One of my daughter's friends stayed the night last night. And I went in there and I, oh my God, I, look, it was like a stand-up. And I let them know. I said, look, check this out. Miss Tina's hella cool, but I'm not no dummy. I'm no fool. I'm no crash dummy. Space cadet. None of that old type of shit. I get in your ass. First of all, we should have had some permission slips for y'all little, little asses to be here in the first place. But y'all mamas already know how I get down, so this is what's happening. If there's any shenanigans jumping on of jumping off up in this motherfucker, it's going down tonight. You going home? It's just, it's just that simple. You're disrespected by home. Miss Tina ain't going for it. And now we done fell out. Now we're no longer cool. You know. So after I got done with them, everybody had they understood the terms and conditions. <clears throat> they sat in there and they played Monopoly. Oh, they was all in it. I mean, they was all in. They played Monopoly for a while. And I went to sleep kind of early because I knew I had to get Anthony. Even when I left to go get Anthony, um, Tiana and her friend was in her room. And the boys were all over my goddamn den. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. It smells like all kind of nuts, boats, boots, cleats, Fritos, Cheetos, hot Doritos. It's horrible in there. I told Tioni a while ago, I said, you know, I know that, you know, the boys was in here, but if you and your partner can be so inclined to get some mop water and shit ready, because all this shit right here need to be worked out, it is horrible. 
in there right now. And I just had to leave. I was like, you know what? And then Kenny right off the top. Oh, no, this should not be this. This should not be this. Should not be this. Wait a minute. Hold on, partner. I got it. I got it. I got this. I know what's happening. I, I, I'm seeing all of this. Okay? I'm no dummy. I I guess I just look like this. I don't know. But um, I got what's happening on this right here. Trust me. Everybody fully understand what's happening. You know? And right now, after they get done with this motherfucking car wash, which is over at 1 o'clock, and right now it is 1149, when they get back to Miss Tina's house, I got I got all kind of, them niggas going to look. Mm, I got all kind of chores. I got chores for their asses. When all them long-legged ass niggas, um, you seen the little, uh, I put the video up on, on Instagram. Those is all my son's little partners. Okay, big old cats, big old little bitty kids. You know they kids now, but they just big. And uh, but yeah, when y'all get back to Miss Tina's house, I got a gang of shit for y'all to do. I just want you to know that. Okay, so hurry up and get done with all that turtle wax and whatever else we got going on. I saw a little dime too. So whatever y'all working with, let's hurry up and get done with that because I need y'all to come on back and bend the corner and um take care of some business at my pad because it's way out of compliance right now. My trauma and personality, I was like, oh, my God. I came in there, and I was like, oh, shit. Kitchen fucked up. I don't know. It looked like they ate two packs of buns last night. I'm like, oh, my God, two packs. Yeah, two packs of buns. The whole, the empty pack, the empty bag that the buns was in, hot dog bun, was sitting on the counter. Right. I, I said it right. Sitting on the counter. So, you know, I didn't even I didn't even go I didn't even go through and assess. Fuck that. I didn't tally up. I didn't do none of that shit. When I saw what was happening in there a while ago, I was like, oh my God. Because they left early. Isaiah knocked on my door and said, Mom, we gotta we gotta be up there um at the car wash at seven. So they had been gone early. So I goes in there a while ago. Man. Milk gone. Okay. Captain Crunch berries and shit all over the motherfucking countertops and shit. Yeah. I'm I'm seeing all kind of shit that's I mean just just way wrong. Yeah. So I told Tiana, I said, look, mama, I know that you know you and Precious been back here in the room and y'all ain't got nothing to do with all this right here, but can you please work this out here for mama? I handed them when they when they get home. I'm I got them. I got some shit for them niggas to do. I'm gonna have them niggas all on that hill and shit all in the backyard. I got some oh my god, I got some shit for them to do. Because I cannot believe how they left that shit in there like that. I can't believe it. But, you know, they're boys. And they all 15, 16, 17 years old. You know what I'm saying? Mm, mm, mm. And for one minute, and I sure told them, too, ain't going to be no porn hub watching up in this motherfucker. And they was like, huh, Miss Tina, what you talking about, huh? What, what, what? Because, yeah. Um, the the TV in the den is the smart TV. So they be online and all on YouTube and all on all kinds of shit. You know, and now they on some old Hulu. They done got me rigged up with some Hulu, Netflix, all kinds of shit. Okay? So, you know, they had been watching TV and shit all night long last night. I left when got Anthony. We came I came back with this motherfucker. They still in there chuckling and laughing and shit. I was like, Oh, okay, is this what this was happening? Which I once again I didn't I didn't, you know, Isaiah's GPA, you know what I'm saying? He's in a three point this and that. You know, very good school year, so I can't complain, you know what I'm saying? You know, because he is a good kid and he got some real cool friends and everything, you know, some manable little young fellas. But, you know, when y'all come to Miss Tina's house, y'all niggas be on some animal house around this motherfucker. Yeah. I mean, just, oh, my God. I mean, just, oh, if y'all don't sit down some motherfucking way, why is you all in the garage? Why is you all over here? So, yeah, we got to have a meeting. Okay. Yeah, we got a hall meeting coming um, as soon as everybody becomes present. About 1.30. You know what I'm saying? I got to set it off in, you know what I'm saying, in the quad for everybody. And let them know what's happening over here and what y'all can't be doing. Okay? So, anyway, let me go ahead on and bend this corner and get on around the corner to the pad. 
This nigga's apparently following me. I don't know what the fuck else is gonna happen next. You know what I'm saying? This is, I mean, this is crazy. You know what I mean? This is crazy. I don't even know what's happening. But, you know what? I'm on such a high right now. And, nigga, I feel like Rihanna like a motherfucker. What Rihanna said. And he this right so good. And he this right here. This right here. Did she not do that shit on the awards? I don't even know too much about Rihanna or how she get down. Okay? That work, work, work. Yeah, I kind of got into that a little bit. You know what I'm saying? Got me a little dance routine. You want to see about it? No problem. Okay, I got me a dance routine on that work, work, work. You better ask my man. I fucked him up with it. He was like, wait a minute, hold on. What we, uh, what's happening? Nigga, don't touch nothing. Just sit right here and just watch. Shit. Back up. Don't touch nothing. Just watch. Back on up. Just watch. Back on up. Just watch. He was like, oh, shit. Wait a minute. What's happening? Oh, yeah. I moves that. It's nothing. Yeah, I'm one of them. He was like, oh, shit, nigga, I done hit the jackpot. Ding, 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 ding. <laughs> yeah, but the other night, though, Miss Rihanna was on motherfucking Billboard Awards and shit. Motherfucking hair flipped up in the back, bangs going down. That motherfucker said, and he fucks me just so good, and he do this right here, and that there, and this over here. I was like, oh my god. Because see, I ain't even talked about that, which I'm, 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 I'm trying to reframe on all that shit. I'm really trying to reframe on the details, but god damn. I'm good. Work, 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 work. Okay, wrong motherfucking video. My bad. Excuse me. My bad. I didn't mean to, you know what I'm saying? Got a little beside my motherfucking self, you know. One of them. And what's so cool about it? Let me tell you something. Can I can, can I say this though? The other night, I went to my baby's house. And uh, we stood outside and on the, on the he has a, a little balcony outside of his bedroom, and so we uh, we stood outside of his bedroom and got blowed. When I tell you we oh my god we was oh rotation of indica rotation of sativa is a cold one okay. So, after that, you know, we was both like, wait a minute, what's going on? <laughs> wait a minute, what's going on? You know what I mean? Because baby like to drink a little bit, too. You know, he like to have a little sip. He don't, not to the point where, you know, he one them sloppy drunks or nothing like that. But, you know, he's a man that works hard and he play hard and at the end of the week and shit. You know what I'm saying? He like to have a lay down, you know. Anyway, oh my God. Oh my God. It was so beautiful. Oh my God, it was crazy. I mean, it was crazy good. I I I can't. I'm just at a loss for words. I, I'm 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 almost like where the fuck I been? I really believe like I've been nigga. I've been really getting the motherfucking booby prize. I've been getting some boo boo, some dumb dumb, some woolly lump lump. Some door number three, the booby prize. I've been getting all that on top. Man, I've been getting, I've been straight dealt, I've been getting dealt with wrong like a buff. Mm. And this man right here, oh my God, the way that he holds me, touches me, picks me up off the ground, that fucks me up. That. And when I haven't seen him, in a little bit, when I, when he finally see me, oh, he'll pick me up and twirl me around. Have me fucked up. Fucked up. Girls, oh, no. I guess that's some new shit. It's new shit to me, okay? Now, some of y'all that probably been indulging in that old type of shit, you know what I'm saying? And therefore, just let me have this. This is some new shit to me, you know what I'm saying? I didn't qualify for all this right here for three minutes yet. 
I didn't qualify for a nigga getting it against the wall. I ain't qualified for that. You know what I'm saying? The dude that I guess I was, the dude that, I guess the man that I was fucking with, I guess he just wasn't able. I don't know. But man, I'm getting dealt with on a whole different motherfucking level. And I don't even know, I, nigga, I'm tripping right now. I am straight tripping. I'm tripping. Oh my God. I I don't even know. <coughs> I, I've, I'm, I'm, I'm in something that I have not a clue as to. I, it's like I'm in some kind of twilight zone. Like I said, if I'm asleep, don't wake me the fuck up. Let me go and have this right here. Real shit, nigga. Let me go and have this. Let me stay asleep. You wake me up, I'm mad in the motherfucker. We're, gonna, we're not going to be friends after that. <laughs> Excuse me, we're going to fall out. A message All that. So the best thing to do is just let me sleep. Let me sleep this. Let me let, let you know. I, I, you know. Let, let me go on through the next episode and whatever else might you know end up happening and transpiring. You know what I mean? Let me ride this shit out, cause nigga, it's so motherfucking good. I can't even tell you. I mean, like, girls. Yes, y'all motherfuckers been trying to tell me, and all my girls throughout throughout the course. Of my years and through my journey, I've had girls all the time tell me, girl, when you get this, you're going to know something. Girl, when that happens, you're going to know something. Girl, when this right here, and all the while, i just been patient with it. I've been patient with it, but I was like, you know what, I know I'm going to have to wear a certain type of, you know what I'm saying, the number's going to have to say something, because I want this nigga to really turn me upside down. Fuck what you're going through. I really want some old... Uh, some old zoo shit. What, what, uh, what, what, uh, what, what, uh, R. Kelly say? Some old monkey business type shit. Man, I, what? If, nigga, if you don't, uh, uh, why are we bullshitting? This ain't no game. Are you kidding me? This is not no motherfucking game, nigga. You come up in this motherfucking nigga, you better be red D. That's all I'm saying. You know, and this is some exclusive shit. This is for the motherfucker I'm with. And trust and believe, nigga, if you ain't hollering at the motherfucking moon, I don't know what the hell, something done happened. Something went wrong, something motherfucking where, because nigga, A-game coming, okay? Now, shit, I, I can't even talk for nobody else. I can only speak for me, goddammit, and I'm just saying, it ain't no time to play, you know what I mean? Shit, uh, holla. What is it? What what's that? You know what I mean? That's my baby. <laughs> That's my baby. Ain't that something? Holla! And did he come on through like he was supposed to? Shit, don't fuck with me. Hey, it's not a game. It is not a game. Shit, baby was like, shit, I love you. Shit. I don't give a damn what it look like. Shit, I love your motherfucking ass. You gonna make me fuck around. Hurt this motherfucker for prowling around. I said, look, check this out. Hey, look, we don't, we need to calm the fuck down right now, okay? Mama got it, daddy. Don't worry about it. I got this, okay? We don't need no violence. We're gonna stop the violence, you know what I'm saying? We're not gonna go through all this whole type of shit. This is my, this is my partner. He's been my, one of my best niggas. Okay, he's cool. He's going through a little thing right now because he miscombobulated. He ain't got no understanding on what's going on right now. See, he's been doing his thing for so long. See, he never thought that I would ever just say, nigga, I'm cool. And now that I'm cool, he ain't got no understanding about that. Nigga, it's all, everything is just all miscombobulated. It's fucked up. Things is miscombobulated and fucked up. His, 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 his data processing is fucked up right now. You know, so, you know, he, 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 you know, he gonna be all right in a minute, you know. I'm just treading lightly around him a little bit because I, I already know that he's raw and he and his feelings and shit. And so, you know, I'm not trying to rock the boat or nothing like that. I watched too much First 48 and Snapped and all that old type of shit, you know what I'm saying? So I'm just trying to get his, let this nigga have his way, you know. Nigga, okay, move about this motherfucker. Are we cool? We good? Okay, now I just want to make sure we good, Okay. Are we good? Did you make sure you got your books and whatever else you said that you left? Because he came up in there like he just left from there, didn't he? I hadn't seen... Let's see. Kenny was there... Because he makes it a point to stop almost every day. Random times throughout the day. Okay? He don't have no key, so he got to knock on the motherfucking door. 
You know, me and the other day, the motherfucker came to my back door. I say, wait a minute, hold the fuck up. <laughs> I'm hearing motherfucking shit moving around and shit out. This motherfucker at my goddamn bedroom door. I said, nigga, what is wrong with you? Oh, I was at the door and you didn't come to the, you didn't come to the door. Okay, so you come through the back? I thought the back gate was even locked. So apparently, I, I look, this motherfucker... Because I already know your motherfucking ass didn't jump this motherfucker. That's one thing I do know. Now, unless the gate was unlocked, which that's... I'm like, wow, okay. You know, I'm having some light bulb moments and shit right now. Anyway, let me bend this corner and get back around to my house. And see what's going on for all these kids and shit. Get back, see where these girls is at. And what they doing is 12.04. The boys will be done at 1. Let me text and call my baby and let him know what's happening with me. Let me get at my baby. But check this out, though, y'all. Let me tell y'all something, though. How about he gave me an ultimatum yesterday? He did give me an ultimatum yesterday. He was like, Tina, look at baby. I'm not going to be able to deal with this cat right here. I'm not going to be able to deal with him. I'm not going to be able... <laughs> I'm not going to be able to deal with him, okay? Now, six months, okay, I'm going to need you to, you know... First, he said, one year from now. Then he turned around and he said, six months from now, I'm not going to be able to, you know, really be able to digest all this right here. And I'm like, okay, so I don't know. I guess I got between six months and a year. I don't know. Before, I, before you know what I'm saying, this nigga right here is completely, you know, eradicated. But I told him, I said, you know, you can't, you can't do that. I mean, we are also friends, you know. I mean, he's in his feelings. I mean, you know, I mean, maybe it's just me. Maybe, I, I, maybe I'm one of them. Anyone who had a heart, motherfuckers. I don't know. Because some motherfuckers is like, man, fuck that motherfucker. Hell, he'll bounce back. That nigga's all right. Shit, nigga, you want some weed, nigga? What you want, nigga? You did a 40, nigga, cut 45. Uh, he, he ain't trying to hear none of that shit right now. He not. He not trying to hear none of that shit right now. Kenny like shit, man. Y'all bullshitting. And I can't have no pussy, and I can't have nothing. You won't even let me smell this motherfucker. And now, all of a sudden, now you getting dressed and singing and shit. And I'm coming in on, on motherfucking what, this right here. What, what's going on with all this? Why you got lip shit on? I said, wait a minute. Hold on, hold on, hold on, partner. Since when you start putting lipstick and shit on? I said, oh, okay. You ain't even got no panties on. I said, oh, okay, nigga. Shit. I really didn't. Let me just go and say that part. I didn't have that noun draw on, nigga. I just put the dress on. Didn't have a bra on or nothing. And went out like that. Baby thought I was all right. Shit, that motherfucker was all up under that motherfucking dress. Uh-oh, shit. Oh, my God. Do you see this? My baby came to come. My baby came to lunch with me in this motherfucking dress right here. And he be on some crazy shit. He say some way out shit. <laughs> Loud, okay? Yes. She's your queen to be. Yeah, he busts out and get to singing dumb shit. Just random shit. In the store, in the restaurant, wherever. He just busts out and it's just funny shit. We we have a good time. Let me roll this one down a little bit. Because I'm going to have to, this is about to leak in my ride. And I'm not going to be able to do that. Sorry. Uh. Okay, as long as it didn't. Because I just got the car washed. As long as it didn't hit my door. But, uh, yeah. I'm having fun. I'm loving the feelings. I'm loving the possibilities. And it's not a game right now. You know? I just need to make sure everybody cool. You know? I just need to make sure, you know, this transition runs smoothly. Because I don't need no bullshit coming to my door. You know? I don't need... You know, these overgrown-ass men, you know, arguing and fighting and shit, you know, whatever. You know what I mean? I don't need none of that old type of shit. I don't need it. I don't need it around my door. I don't need to, I don't need my neighbors getting a bar of it. None of that old type of shit. None of that shit. Okay? So, I need some understanding. So, let me go on and get to the pad. And, uh... And, uh... Let me get to the pad and um, 
and uh, figure some shit out. All right, family. I love you guys. Love you guys for watching the video day in May. Vlog number 28. Today is Saturday, the 28th of May. It is 12.09 in the p.m. and I'm gone. I'm gone, family. We knocking this out. We ain't got but about two, three more motherfucking days, nigga. And we done with this right here. We did it. 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 Okay. My bad. I'm gone. Bye.